Hey cruisers, thank you so much for being here. We're really excited to be popping up today with a live stream special cruise announcement. Yes, we're going to tease you just a little bit, but I do promise to make our announcement within the first five minutes. We just have lots of housekeeping to get to today. First thing I wanna tell you guys is you definitely need to be following us on social media right away. The reason why is because we will be live posting from this next cruise. So if you are not following Cruise Tips TV, on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, you need to click on the links in the description box below and do so right away because you are not going to want to miss our photos and potentially even videos. We will try to go live on this cruise here on YouTube, but that will be completely dependent on our stream strength, upload speeds, and all that crazy stuff. And I just can't promise anything, but we're gonna try our darndest, maybe a 360 live stream, maybe a regular live stream, maybe a Facebook live. So the more places you're following us, the better. Today's episode is sponsored by CruiseLine.com, where you can find reviews, tips, and photos from real everyday cruisers. Make sure you find me and add me as a shipmate on Shipmate app as well. My username is Cruise Tips TV, and I will be joining the roll call for this cruise within an hour after we finish this live stream. So if you want a little more information on where we'll be, you can come check it out over there. So how's everybody doing? So good to see you all. We had an awesome pre-group here in the chat. For those of you who are new to Cruise Tips TV, welcome. We are here to share tips about cruising. We are a wonderful, supportive, fantastic community, and you are going to love being a part of this amazing cruising tribe that we have created over the last five years. So guys, gals, cruisers, any guesses as to where we're going? I have three minutes until the big reveal, so start leaving your guesses in the chat, and I am going to be watching very carefully. Uh, what cruise line, where are we going? Let's go, let's see what everyone has to say. I'm not gonna give you guys any clues at all. I think that um, you guys will do a good job of figuring this out. I have a feeling someone's probably gonna guess it. See that someone has asked what this little thing is right here. As you can see, we are, this is our YouTube subscriber count and we are extremely close to 50,000 subscribers. We keep this in our room, our bedroom, and we watch it. We think it's really fun. It has other statistics on it too, like the time, the weather, and things like that. And the reason that we brought it out today is because we thought it would be super amazing and cool if potentially we got to 50,000 subscribers while we were here on this live stream. If that happens, I might get a little emotional. Just warning you guys, this could be Sherry crying on <laughs> live YouTube. But um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, now would be a really, really good time to be part of Cruise Tips TV history and watch that little number go up. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and check and see what everybody's guesses are. Some of the guesses that we have coming in are, wow, you guys are really, there's a lot of people in there. Hawaii, Transatlantic, Antarctica, Carnival Med, Alaska. Thank you, Gab Guerra, for subscribing. Mexican Riviera, Princess Panama Canal, Australia, Bora Bora, Tahiti, the UK, 30 Day Cruise, a Disney Cruise, Cuba, Princess, Caribbean, ABC Islands, NCL Hawaii, Tahiti, Princess, Liberty of the Seas, Puerto Rico, Cunard Transatlantic, Princess on the Med, RCCL, Disney, 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 lots of Disney guesses, um, Tahiti, Atlantic, Southern Carib, um, Australia, Mediterranean, Europe. Let's see what everybody else is guessing. I'm seeing some Tahiti in here. Oh my goodness, there's so many people. Okay, Singapore, Cuba, Galapagos, Sweden, Mediterranean. My goodness, there must be hundreds of you in the chat because I can't even keep up wow, anymore. Wow, I want to I go all those places. I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> now we have to schedule those. <laughs> now we know where we want to cruise. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, has anyone guessed it yet? It's going back to town. I don't think that they have. I haven't seen anyone guess it. So, Cal Seth, you're so funny. If by 50K I mean 100K, yes, we'll get there. I know that we will. Um, so, so far, nobody has, you have, someone has guessed the location, but not the cruise line. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what's going on because I don't think it's fair to keep everyone waiting. Drum roll please, Mr. Chris, it's to be a drum roll. Cruisers, we are going on MSC Cruises to the Caribbean very soon. We will be visiting four ports in the Western Caribbean. We'll be on the beautiful brand spanking new MSC Seaside. We were contacted by MSC with an awesome opportunity that we could not pass up. Even though it was a little bit last minute, we decided to jump on it because we have been asked repeatedly to showcase new cruise lines, new ships, and MSC specifically, so we are very, very excited. Tell us what you guys think about the big news. We don't have any details on our cabin or anything like that yet. 
All we know is where we're going and on what ship, but you definitely want to be following this one. It is going to be a blast. So what do you guys think? Everybody pretty excited? Yes, Kaylee, we are going on Seaside. We are excited and we're just so thrilled about the fact that that ship was designed with a lot of the, the, the values that we, really, that we really love in cruising. It was designed to kind of keep you close to the sea. It has all kinds of wraparound promenade decks and all kinds of things like that that we're so excited to explore and bring to all of you. So I wanna tell you guys a little bit more about the ship and a little bit more about what um, what we're excited about and then I'm gonna ask for your help. So as you all know, MSC Seaside is new to the North American market and sails out of Miami on alternating um, Caribbean cruises. We are going to Nassau, Grand Cayman, Cozumel, and Ocho Rios, Jamaica. So I'm going to be asking you all for some shore excursion ideas a little bit later. Hold those for right now if you can, but we want your help choosing our shore excursions and we're gonna to try to make it an interactive thing. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, we are up to 49,981. Doing good here. Um, but a few things that we're really excited about for this particular ship would be that there are four water slides on this ship, which you know my son and I are going to love. Mr. Cruise TV, maybe too, but he'll probably just be filming us. They have what's called a forest aqua venture water park for kids that looks like a blast. It has those little water guns and all that fun stuff in it, and it's just beautiful. We can't wait. They have a zip line, they have two full size bowling lanes, they have nine different eateries on board, including a seafood restaurant called Ocean K, they have Butcher's Cut for steak, they have two Asian restaurants from Roy Yamaguchi, they have the Asian Market Kitchen and the Teppanyaki, and they have a restaurant called Bistro La Boheme, which serves French food and even breakfast. So we are stoked about that. My son is really excited to check out the Kids Center. Their Kids Center, they've partnered with Lego, and it's just gonna be pretty amazing. So this is gonna happen really fast. Hopefully we can go live for you guys to showcase some of the experience. So right now, as you can imagine, we're, we're getting ready, we're starting to pack, we're kind of trying to iron things out at work, and, and soon we should be choosing all of our excursions and all that good stuff. So we're gonna need your help. Let's get into the chat and see how everybody's doing. Diane um, H, it is a seven night cruise. Um, let's see here. Ella, we don't know what type of cabin we're staying in yet. It was very last minute and this is being coordinated by the cruise line directly. So we did not choose our, um, our, uh, particular cabin. Shailene and Kurt, welcome. So good to have you guys here. We're going on MSC Seaside to the Western Caribbean, um, very soon. So it's going to be a summer cruise and we're going to be hitting Nassau, Grand Cayman, Ocho Rios, Jamaica, and I keep forgetting the fourth one, Cozumel. So we're going soon, Lucy Ann, follow us on social media and we'll pop up when we're on the ship. No, Pamela, I am not a travel agent. Okay, let's see here. I know we have a lot of questions coming in, you guys. Please forgive me, I'm backing up a little bit um, and we'll get there. Mr. Cruise TV, do you have some queued up for me? Yeah, I'll jump in because sure. one of the first questions was, is Junior Editor going? Yes. And I think you already said yes, but you know what? Yeah. He's really excited because that ship is surprisingly mm -hmm. kid-friendly. Yeah. He's, he's going to have a blast. He is going to have a blast. He's really excited about it. He's funny, though. Um, I'm trying to think. Who asked us about that? Was it Holly Butcher? Ho yeah, Holly. He's funny. He doesn't. Um, he's very different from his mommy and daddy in the sense that he doesn't like to research ships in advance. He thinks it's a spoiler. He wants to be surprised. But he has had some little peaks of this ship, and he's pretty keyed up about the arcade. I think he's really excited about the water slides the pool and everything but um he's always a big arcade kid and we'll see if he goes to the kids center he's a little bit um he's a little bit up in the air sometimes about whether or not he'll go so yeah cool mr crucifix v what else do you have for me Nothing. Okay, sounds great. I'm gonna scroll around and look for fo uh, for pictures. And guys, we can absolutely answer any general cruise questions that you have for you today. Um, absolutely fine. We don't have to talk about MSC Seaside the whole time, but we would love to talk about it a little bit. And please start leaving me your shore excursion suggestions. Now we need your help in choosing what we're going to do. I'll give you some ideas of things that we're thinking about. Um, in the way of excursions. We're thinking about, we're pretty active excursion people. Um, unfortunately, I may or may not have broken my toe yesterday. I'm not sure. I ran into a door that was like halfway open with a bare foot and it was excruciatingly painful and I'm having some bruising and swelling right now. So I'm like 
are you kidding me? I need to I need to get this foot better because we like to do very active things. But if everything goes well in Jamaica, I'm considering an excursion where we're going where we would go to the tubing on the White River and the Blue Hole. So I'm looking into that one. If everyone anyone has ever done that one, um, please do let me know. I would really appreciate that. Grand Cayman. As much as I'm resistant to it because it's such a a uh, cliche thing to do. I'm kind of thinking about Stingray City for Grand Cayman. My son really wants to do a dolphin swim, but those tend to be very, very expensive. So I'm not sure about that, but that's kind of something he would like to do. So if any of you have ever done a dolphin swim in any of those ports, I would really like to hear about it. Cozumel. Okay, this is interesting. Thank you, Vicente, for subscribing. We're now 15 away from 50K, guys. Um, one of the things that I'm thinking, um, uh, excuse me, in Cozumel is we are considering Mr. Sancho's because we always, well, not always, but the time we did visit Cozumel, we went to Nachi Cacom, and I think we want to show you guys something a little bit different. Now, the concern I have is that I think there's probably going to be a lot of ships in port that day, and I don't want to go somewhere super crowded, so looking for your opinion on Cozumel. Um, in the Bahamas, in Nassau, the only thing I can think of right now that I really would want to do is the Atlantis Water Park, so if anybody has any experience with the Atlantis Water Park, please let me know. Um, Queen Char, we would like to get off at all the ports. Um, it's definitely something we probably will do unless things don't pan out for us in Nassau and we don't find something we'd really love to do. I could see us maybe staying on the ship in Nassau and filming around the ship for you guys or going live or something like that if we could get good internet connection. So um, Jamaica, yay, Jamaican Queen B10 donated $1.99 in Super Chat. Thank you so much. And I want to give a special hello to Jamaica Queen's son, Julian. Julian um, and Jamaica Queen and I have a special friendship and I just wanted to say hi and thank you so much for watching. So glad you guys are here. Let's get back in it. Carrie said, do the stingray thing. You've done it twice and it's still awesome. Okay, great. Thank you so much. That really helps. Holly said you loved it as well. You love Stingray City. And for those of you who have noticed that the chat is moving a little bit fast today, please know that if I miss your comment or your suggestion for me, I am going to sit and watch this entire video back and check out all of your suggestions. So I'll try to get to focusing on questions soon. Okay, Flyover Country is doing the VIP at Mr. Sancho's in November. Now, is the VIP, is that the romance package, Flyover Country, or is that the, um, the all-inclusive? Or is it something different? Would you please let me know? Cody Martin just subscribed. Yay, Cody! Thanks, Cody! We're getting there. 13 more, guys. All right, let's see here. Um, let's see. So Becca, you think my son would love Stingray City. They're gentle. Yeah. I think he would be fine. He's very good in the water and he's generally very, he's not very afraid of anything. So I think he would be okay too. Um, Heather, you said you loved Stingray City on the catamaran. You tubed on a river in Jamaica and then had the best jerk chicken of your life zip lining in the same place. Okay, awesome. If you, Heather, if you know your excursion provider and you'd be willing to Facebook message me or leave it here in the comments on YouTube, I'd be super grateful. We're looking for good excursion providers. Um, okay, lots of people saying that Stingray City is awesome. Okay, that's really interesting. So Shelby said, for Atlantis, book a room in a hotel next door. It's cheaper for the room as you get four passes to Atlantis. Do you get passes to the water park, Shell or Shelly? Let me know. That's really fascinating. I thought I heard someone talking about that at some point. Okay. Um, let's see here. You went to Stingray City uh, Laurel through an all-inclusive, and it was amazing. Tell me more about what you mean by that. Yeah, expensive, Anne. I know, right? Hi, Ms. Mary. MSC Cruise Lines stands for the Mediterranean Shipping Company. They've been around for a very long time. They're an Italian-European-run cruise line, and MSC owns MSC. They are not part of any of those larger organizations that, that we cruise with. Okay. What's that? Great. I'm ready. All right. Well, let's get this one out of the way real quick. Okay. Bookworm Agent said, hello, Sherry. Would you recommend going on a short two to four night if it's your first rather than a longer mm -hmm. one? You know what? Um, I, I'm a little bit hesitant about sending people on short cruises for their first experience because it is so different from what you'll experience on a seven night cruise. So I just want you to know that if you do it, I want you to give a seven night or longer cruise a chance some other time because I think that it's just more relaxing, more peaceful. The crowds tend to be more mellow. What's that? 
Yeah, that's true. Michelle, that was the sweetest thing ever. Michelle just gave a $20 donation towards Junior Editor's Dolphin Excursion. You guys, I have a feeling I'm going to get emotional today. Thank you, Michelle. That was really, really sweet. My gosh, you guys are amazing. Um, what's that? And Stephanie, thank you so much, Stephanie. I really appreciate it. You have a beautiful smile, Stephanie. I love your, um, your thumbnail. It's so pretty. I have more questions for you. Okay, I'll bring them on. Stephanie Meyer says, have you booked airfare through Carnival before? No. No, Stephanie, I've never booked airfare through Carnival. Can I answer another airfare question that came through? Um, someone asked me about last minute flights. Um, I have to tell you, I was shocked. They didn't, the prices weren't that high. Um, I thought that they were going to be double and they weren't. They were maybe $100 more than usual, but it wasn't that bad. So whomever, I, I didn't get your name, but whoever asked about last minute flights, they weren't that bad to Miami. From LAX, by the way, we're flying LAX to Miami. Yeah. Um, go ahead. All right, Miriam or Miriam Kim wants to know if we'll be doing anything special at fifty thousand subscribers. Um, yeah, we have something that we're working on in the you know it's like another very very big project that is not on YouTube that we haven't shared with anybody yet, and it's kind of a way to celebrate and to give back to all of you guys, but it's also a way to diversify what we're doing at Cruise Tips TV and what we're offering to our community. So it's not gonna be here for a while. It's gonna be at least a good month, but stay tuned for it. It's just, like I said, another way to be of service and another way that we can really help people, especially new cruisers. So stay tuned for that. I don't wanna get emotional. I feel like I'm gonna get emotional. Guys. Don't get emotional. Okay, I have okay. another one here and I, I love this question. And see if I can get okay. through it without stumbling. It's from Melissa A. Okay. Melissa's curious. She loves the logistics, research, and budgeting uh -huh. for cruises or cruise okay. picks and would like to know if she's really missing out on working with a travel agent. Melissa, working with a travel agent is just a super personal thing. If they can add value to what you're doing, um, great. If not, there is absolutely no reason that you have to use a travel agent. I completely understand what you mean. Um, we're getting a lot of super chats and I just want to acknowledge the people who just gave those real quick because I, I, I don't want to let them go by too fast. What's that? Yeah, beep848, thank you so much for the super chat. I will answer your question now. We're going on the White Pass train excursion. We're going in the luxury car. want to know your opinion if you should tip or not and how much. I think you might have messaged me this last night. Um, on Facebook and I would like to tell you that on those on the White Pass Rail some people will give the guide or the tour guide or the the narrator a few dollars at the end. I don't necessarily think it's customary to tip the conductor however but the guides perhaps. So I mean a five or ten dollar tip or a few dollars per person would probably be perfectly appropriate. Um, CD Man 40 said, do I have a favorite Carnival Cruise cruise director? I really enjoyed Mark Q on our Carnival Splendor Cruise and thank you for the super chat. Really, really appreciate that. Um, let's see here. So many questions coming in today, guys. April Fitzsimmons, thank you for the super chat. She said, so you can pick your color no matter what drink comes with it. Oh wait, that's Princess Haha. -ha. That's so funny. All right, April, you just bought me. Let's decide what drink. You know what I really have been craving lately, April? A pina colada. Done. Thank you. And to those of you who have been subscribing, I see you guys. It's been happening. They're flying by really fast. So thank you so much. Um, okay. No bookworm agent. I do not think it's a bad idea for you to go on a cruise as a young woman alone for the first time at all. You might want to choose a cruise line that accommodates solo cruises, like cruisers, excuse me, like Norwegian, get a solo cabin and interact with other solo cruisers. I think it'll be totally fine and very safe for you. Um, yes, Mark Webster would be absolutely willing to tell you about the demographics when we're on MSC. And yes, there will be a lot of European travelers. I do anticipate that will be the case and I will keep you posted. And if I don't, you just ask me when I get back and I'll let you know. Okay. All right. Gianna Kelly asked quite a while ago, are you going to do a packing video? Yes. Yes, yes, we yes. are. We're filming it tomorrow. Um, we're going to do a packing video. We have some fun little twists on the packing this time. And I'm pretty sure we're going carry on only with this one, guys. So it's going to be another challenge. Um, and if those of you who follow me on Instagram, you saw the hat that I was looking at yesterday. I found a great hat to take on this cruise. And I have to fit that sucker in my carry on bag. So you need to follow me on Instagram to see my hat. Make sure you do that. So funny.
Laura wants to know if MSC is still honoring the matching tier benefits. Yes, okay. MSC does still honor the tier matching benefits. So I believe it is on your first MSC cruise, they will honor your loyalty with another cruise line. And as I understand it, the perks are spectacular. Um, you know who told me that is um, Emma from Cruising Isn't Just For Old People. She did a loyalty match on her MSC cruise and she said the perks were awesome. So the types of things you might get depending on the level, um, you might get a free night in the steakhouse house you might get some free cocktails and things like that oh carrie thank you so much oh man junior might just be getting his wish to go on a dolphin swim you guys wouldn't that be great thank you oh my gosh so cool got some more for me mr Cruz sibs tv uh, okay no problem yeah i will sounds good i'm just gonna go ahead and jump into the chat for just a few minutes you guys Wow, let's see here. Okay, so Katie said, um, Caleb, you just subscribed. Woo! This, in two more subscribers, we're going to have a 50,000th subscriber. So it'll be very interesting to see who that person is. Hmm. Um, Katie, you want to know about soft drink packages? Uh, do you get a special cup on Princess? We have had soda cups in the past. Yes, on Princess, just so you know. Absolutely. Thank you, Rad B. Ford, for the very kind comment. We really, really appreciate that. That was super sweet. Um, let's see here. Oh, uh, Derek, what did you get with the Norwegian Mini Suite? What does it offer? Derek, it doesn't offer a whole lot of suite benefits. It is not really a suite. It's just like an upgraded balcony cabin. So you got a little bit of upgraded amenities. You got a little bit more space in the cabin, for sure. The, there was a double sink and a fancy shower head. So those, that would answer your question. Okay, I wanna, oh, we, just hit it. we just hit it. Yay, here it is you guys. Big thanks to everybody for helping us to make 50,000. Who was the 50,000th subscriber? It looks like it was ABC Anthony TV. ABC Anthony TV, you are our 50,000th subscriber. So we're sending you a big virtual high five through the TV. Thanks you guys. This was really fun to share with everybody. We saw this morning that we were getting really close and Mr. Cruise Tips TV was like, oh, I have an idea. Let's put the counter on during the live stream and see if it happens. And we didn't necessarily think that it was going to, but thank you, you guys. We're so excited. Oh, yay. Look at all the confetti in the chat. All right. I'm going to stay excited. I'm not going to cry. I, I'm not going to, but I'm thrilled. And I just want to thank everybody who's been sticking with us from the very beginning. So many of you guys have. Oh, Sharon, thank you so much. We really have to, we're going to have to do something special for Junior. You guys are too good to us. Uh, William, thank you so much. William, you are our 50,000 and first subscriber. So cool. All right, let's get back in and answer some questions because after all, I know that's what everybody needs from us and wants from us. And I don't want to, um, I don't want to neglect everyone. Thanks, Mom. I see you in the chat. I appreciate it. I'm wearing the necklace you got me today, Mom, from our Princess Cruise. It looks really pretty, huh? I love it. Okay. So, yay. Welcome, Halsey, Robert. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for all the kudos. So appreciate it. Let's get to some questions. What do we have? Do you have some for me, Mr. Cruise Sips TV? No? Okay, you guys. Because the chat is moving so fast, I'm pretty sure that... We can handle a lot more questions in the next 30 minutes, so retype them. Um, Teresa Connor, yes, we're trying very hard to do carry on only. This is a seven night Caribbean cruise, and whenever we fly, we really strongly prefer to go carry on only. So, um, Junior Editor's suitcase usually doesn't get all the way full. He's tiny, and he doesn't have a lot of periphery that he needs to take, and his shoes are pretty small. So, we think that we can probably use a teeny tiny bit of his suitcase space if we have to to make it work. Now, if we can do this for a 10 night cruise, which we did, we packed uh, carry-on only for our Panama Canal cruise back in November. If we can do it for that, we can do it for this. Now, one major difference is that um, MSC Cruises does not offer self-service laundry, but we're probably planning on having um, the paid laundry service because I think it'll just be worth it to send things out, especially in the Caribbean in the middle of the summer. You guys, it's going to be hot. We're going to be sweating a ton, and I think we're going to be doing very active excursions. So I think that's the plan. I do believe I missed a super chat, and I do not want to miss that. Um, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, a uh, super chat came in and I missed it. Oh, it was Carrie Allen. Carrie, thank you so much. I did not miss you. Okay, I'm seeing the questions coming in. Jen, no, MSC does not have passenger laundry. Um, Michelle, we're leaving soon. Follow us on social media for the exact date. 
We're uh, finalizing the, the details now. Laurel, top five tips for first time cruisers. Here we go, auction style. One, take comfortable shoes. Number two, manage your own expectations. Do not expect it to be perfect. Number three, fly in the day before, not the day of. Number four, be adventurous, do things in port. Don't just get off and walk around. And number five, try specialty dining. Bam, just for you, babe. Okay, huh? On fire, yeah. I know, right? We are. Thank you so much, May May. I really appreciate the super chat. Oh man, junior editor, he's gonna have some fun on this cruise, isn't he? Okay, Becky, what do you do with your stuff at the beach? Keep your valuables with you in a waterproof patch, but what about a backpack? Yes, that's an excellent question. Becky, there's so many options. In our shop, our Amazon shop, which is linked in the um, description of this video, if it's not, we'll make sure it's there, amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash cruise tips TV. There, excuse me, cruise tips TV. There are tons of options for you. If you have a small amount of valuables, they have these things that go around your neck that are waterproof. That's what we would use if we were absolutely all swimming. Normally, we take turns swimming. So if we're not putting our things in a locker, one of us is just sitting with our things. There are so many different options though. There are backpacks that you can lock to your chair. There are um, little um, security boxes that you can lock to your chair. So there are tons of different options. Okay. I'm gonna grab some more questions. I know that there are lots coming in. Carol, we may be doing a Royal Caribbean cruise, but we do not have um, any booked. Mary C, I don't know if you're allowed to take soda on MSC, but I will find out because I actually need to know that. J. Carlos, seven o'clock, yes, you will have plenty of time for the sail away party. On Splendor, you'll probably sail away around five. I made my steakhouse reservation at eight just to be safe, I believe, but seven should be just fine. Um, Stephanie Meyer, hotel recommendations for Miami. Why, yes, I do have hotel recommendations for Miami. I've been researching that lately myself. I like Hampton Inns. We've talked about this very recently, and I'm really a fan of Hampton Inns. And somebody said, there's one that I need to get the neighborhood for you guys um, to let you know what, what, um, what Hampton Inn it is. Okay, here it is. Somebody told me that the Hampton Inn and Suites by Hilton Miami Brickle, B-R-I-C-K-E-L-L -L, downtown is a good one. We could spend hours on this topic, but if I were going, I'd probably choose a Hampton Inn. Okay, Michelle, it is, is it mandatory to pay gratuities? Well, it certainly isn't mandatory, but removing them is considered a pretty big um, discourtesy and it's a big faux pas, so you should definitely be paying those. They are, that is how the cruise lines in part pay their staff. Whether or not that's right or wrong is up for interpretation, but you know, we do suggest that. Yay, Heather, thanks for contributing to the dolphin swim. Oh my goodness sakes, now what are we gonna do? If he doesn't go on a dolphin swim, he's gonna be really mad at us. <laughs> oh my and gosh. thank you, Denise Richardson too. Did Denise give us a super chat too? Oh, I see that now. Thank you so much, Denise. You are such a sweetie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As I turn my mic on, let me run a few questions yes. by you. Okay. Nicholas Lansing asked quite a while ago um, about tips for Norwegian Jewel. Norwegian Jewel, um, that was Nicholas. Mm -hmm. Nicholas, I have been on Norwegian Jewel, but I believe it's been renovated since after we went on it. I loved that ship. It was very special. Um, we went to the Mexican Riviera on the ship and I would say if they still have Cagneys, definitely hit the steakhouse. It is lovely, very, very much um, a good one. We also really liked the, um, we liked Oceans on the Jewel. It was really great. If you can get a mini suite on the Jewel rather than a balcony, the balconies are pretty tiny. I would recommend that. Okay, Jeremy had a hotel tip for, um, uh, Miami, that there's a Holiday Inn located next to the docks in Miami. So for those of you who are looking at that, that's probably good to know. Okay. All right. Where I have one from Maritza Cruise. Okay. What is the best cruise line for Alaska? And again, that's a tough one, huh? What was that? Best, What's cruise, the line best cruise line for Alaska? You know, I really think that we talk about this so much. Many people ask us this question. There's every major cruise line is in Alaska, but I would say that I've got it narrowed down to my three favorite now. I think Princess does it well, Holland America does it well, and I really feel that Norwegian is competing in the Alaska market now with Bliss being up there. And they're also bringing joy over to Alaska after a major renovation, which is very, very big news from Norwegian this last week. So Cruise Online tips for Splendor, watch our Splendor vlogs. They are cataloged right here on our channel. So go look at that playlist and take a look. Okay. 
Um, Carol, our big announcement is that we're going on MSC Seaside to the Caribbean very soon. Okay. I'm all ready, Mr. Christmas. Do you have some more for me? I do, from okay. Kristen. Kristen, yes. that is. Do you prepay gratuities or just add it in daily? I normally pay my gratuities on board, but I can see how prepaying would be a very nice way to keep your bill smaller at the end. And then I just saw one come in from Cruise Online. Any tips for the Carnival Splendor? Yeah, I told him to watch our vlogs because there's just too many. I couldn't oh. even possibly do it. Night Audit, thank you so much for the junior editor, uh, <laughs> the contribution fund. It's now, it's now happening. Thank you so much. Natasha wanted to know what is the best type of GoPro. And I've got to say yeah. that this, the 5 and 6 are so similar and so good. Um, mm -hmm. I would just look for a deal on the five, and you, unless you feel the need to have the latest and the greatest. Mm -hmm. I have both of them, and I use them interchangeably. Have you seen the five at Costco lately? Bundles for the GoPro at Costco, yes. honey? Okay. Yes, but it's price controlled. So it is. You, usually what you're getting is just a few extra accessories. Um, yeah. But it really hasn't been a better time to buy a five because mm -hmm. they dropped at least $100. Cool. I'm seeing a lot of tips come in for Miami hotels, and I just want to repeat a few of them. Um, Amy said Hampton Inn, Blue Lagoon, and I do believe Steve mentioned that one as well. Um, so Steve is also, yeah, Steve said Hampton Inn, Miami Airport, South Blue Lagoon is fantastic. Thank you, Steve. I've considered that one before, and I would like to check that out. Call me M. Yes, we have taken a cruise to Mexico um, in October, and it's awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, Megan, thank you so much. Oh man, we're gonna have to have some fun vlog time on this cruise. You guys are so sweet, thank you. Go ahead. By the way, you know, I just wanna add that our goal with this, because MSC is new to us, is mm -hmm. we are gonna try and gather as much information as we can and share it with you. And what we're thinking right now is we're gonna have a bunch of, you know, a whole bunch of little videos that we can share tips and information mm -hmm. that's new to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in addition to our vlogs um, on this cruise, we're planning on doing some short five-minute segments on different areas that we learn about. So think that's, that, that's the plan. Yeah, that's Every, the plan. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen once you get on board, but that's the plan. Yeah, exactly. Kim, I like the Hotel Andra in Seattle, A-N-D-R-A. -A. Sylvia, any tips for solo travelers? That's a really broad question. I'm going to see if our, if our community here can give some tips on solo travelers. Let's help out... Um, let's help out Sylvia, guys. Let her know. Ah, oh, thank you for turning the fan on me. That feels so good. Okay. Um, Lainey, for transportation from the airport to the port, if you're going directly from airport to port, you might want to use an Uber. A lot of people use Uber for the Fort Lauderdale and Miami hotels. That's just something to consider if you don't have a shuttle situation where you're going to a hotel. A taxi cab is perfectly acceptable. A prearranged shuttle is perfectly acceptable. There's a lot of them. I see someone in the chat who said they're not even 11 and they're platinum. Gianna Kelly, that's so awesome. Very cool. All right. Thank you so much, Kathy. I appreciate it. You're awesome. Let's see here. Um, let's see. Sheree Robinson has a gratuity question. I don't understand it. I'm so sorry. I don't understand your question, Sheree. Please forgive me. Um, we haven't, Party ma Mafia, we haven't taken a cruise out of Galveston, Texas, or New Orleans, but we do want to do that. Probably not New Orleans. It's more likely that we would try Galveston. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Jen P. We really appreciate it. Denisha, thank you. You guys are way too generous today. We just appreciate you all being here, and we love you anyway. We do appreciate all the contributions. It's amazing. Thank you, Ken Rizzo. Jeepers, we need to have a, we need to have a thank you party for everybody. At the end of this is overwhelming. Um, yes, Drew, we will be in Nassau before September. Um, we, will keep, we will vlog our experience there, so you will see what we're doing, and you can always message me. Um, Sean Topple, how do you find inexpensive excursions at different ports? Um, I like to research my excursions in a couple of different ways. I have very much enjoyed the Shipmate app. Their new excursion module is awesome. So when you go onto Shipmate app, you go into Explore and go into Excursion, and they have a really good variety there. I also research using TripAdvisor at times. TripAdvisor has all kinds of different providers that you can research, and then you can book directly from the... the um, the tour provider. So that's a couple of different ways to do it. Um, how to park at the port. Cruise online, it depends on the port. Usually most ports have on-site parking that you can pay for or you can look for something a little more competitive and try to park just nearby. 
Um, let's see here. Best carry on vlog type vlog, uh, excuse me, bag type Chloe Nicole vlogs. We prefer hard side luggage from a really high quality brand of luggage. So we like shopping for our luggage at ebags.com. They have awesome stuff there. And we also like shopping at discount stores like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Ross. They have incredible high quality bags from well known brands deeply marked down. So yeah. Crazy for carnival, we are not able to take that much time off work. I'm a normal amount of vacation time, just like everyone else, I just have to juggle it. Um, we don't cruise as much as it may appear. I don't. Cru I generally don't cruise more than three or four times per year. I do have just over four weeks of vacation time available to me per year, so I, we don't. We don't. Um, we don't have anything different than anybody else. I have a full-time job, and all those responsibilities too. Favorite excursion in Jamaica, Christy? I don't know, I haven't been to Jamaica for years, so we're trying to research that as well. Um, Lindsay, Uber or Lyft to Long Beach Port? Either one, whichever one you're more comfortable with would be totally fine. There's so many Ubers and Lyft in that area. Yes, Michelle, Shipmate app is addictive. I totally hear you. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get some more questions. Um, yeah, Laurel, carry-on restrictions on cruises aren't really a thing. You don't have to worry about the size of the bag. They'll pretty much let you carry on anything that you can handle. Liz Phillips, first time family cruiser tips. Definitely really think about your packing game, Liz, with the kids. I don't know how old your children are, but it's really important to kind of get it right with them. Hats, sunglasses, sunscreen. Um, very comfortable shoes, plenty of swimsuits, maybe some laundry detergent to do laundry. Really think about how you pack and always make sure you pack medication for children like um, fever reducer and cold medicine because they are not easy to get for children on a ship. Those are just a few of them, but we do have lots of family cruising videos. Um, okay, so Marvin's in Jamaica is highly recommended. Thank you so much. I will, looking, I will look into that. Um, you're thinking about, Lainey's thinking about Rose Hall in Jamaica for an excursion. I have heard that Rose Hall is Awesome, thank you for that tip. Okay, Kathy said Lansky's limousine for the shuttle in LA is great, very cost effective. Okay, all right, so I see that um, Beep 848 San Francisco Cruise, you can park in your complex for free and take, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Well, I might have to take you up on that Beep because it is so expensive to park in the port of San Francisco. What was it, 20 bucks a day? We spent a lot of money on that. Aw, Lindsay, thank you so much for the super chat. Appreciate it. Okay, let's see what other questions we can answer. I'm going as fast as I can, you guys, trying to um, not miss any questions here. I have a, I have a couple okay. back up. Drew Great. Vance says, will you be in NASA before September? Got that oh, one already. Okay, good. Sherry Robinson, can you pay for your gratuity when you get on the ship and pay for your other things like pictures and your special dinner? Um, when you get on the ship. I don't understand that question. I kind okay. of already tried to touch on that oh, one. Okay, I sorry. didn't really, I don't really get what she's asking me. Um, flyover country, did I miss your question? Do you see flyover country's question? Please retype it, flyover country, I'm watching. I'll look. Party Mafia wanted to know if we've ever taken a cruise out of Galveston. We have not. I already answered that one. Like, oh man, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm living <laughs> it's in okay. the past. It's okay. okay, Mackenzie Martin wanted to know, do you know what they're changing on the joy? since it was just you know um i was chatting with someone on facebook about this this morning and i've heard that they have a giant casino complex that they're going to be shrinking down thank you patricia nash um making it much smaller because there's a lot of gambling space on that ship otherwise i need to look at it i'm not quite sure is that it oh okay okay you just went silent i wasn't sure okay i'm gonna go ahead and jump back in and see if we can get some of these questions answered thank you very much for enjoying life's journey the grotto cave in jamaica is that different than the blue hole let me know mahogany bay five dollar beach okay good good tips you guys are really helpful i'm going to be watching all of these later thank you so much um Derek, about your Mexican Riviera, would I prefer the standard three-port cruise or a two-port with an overnight in Cabo? Um, all things said, because I've done the two-day Cabo and we did it recently, I like the three-port ones better by a little bit, but it either way, because they're both seven nights, I don't really care. They're both great. Um, yes, Hazel, I we, we have heard about rowdy teens in hallways and blocking of stairways at night, like, on cruise ships that have lots of kids on them, for sure. That can happen. Okay, uh, Heather, for children in motion sickness, there is children's um, Dramamine on the market, and you should also get them the um, 
the C bands for children that are available in our store, amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash cruise tips TV. Again, they're called C bands and they, they are great for children. Highly suggest that you do that. You could also splurge and get them the relief band 2.0 if you wanted a really heavy hitting non-medical um, solution. I want to see a flyover country retyped. Yes. Restaurant recommendations for Montego Bay and Grand Cayman, no chain restaurants locally owned. Okay. I haven't spent enough time in Grand Cayman and Montego Bay flyover country to know. So who can give us some locally owned restaurants in Mo Bay and Grand Cayman for flyover country? Thank you for that. Okay. Looking for questions. I know we have a ton of them. I have one from Heather. Great. One, one of the first things I purchased after watching your videos were packing cubes, but I have to say, I don't understand the benefit. What am I doing wrong? Heather, the benefits are not necessarily just around the packing. So they do keep your suitcase more organized and things a little bit more modularly, modularly arranged inside your suitcase, but there are other benefits. Um, one of the benefits is that if you were to have an overweight bag fee at the airport, you could switch a packing cube out of one bag into another bag very quickly without having to open up your suitcase. Also, if security opens your suitcase, things don't go flying everywhere. Everything is contained and zipped in. Also, you can pre-pack into them, put the stuff in the cube, stick it in your closet, walk away. Lastly, when you're on the cruise, instead of unpacking all your stuff, you take the packing cubes out, you slide them on a shelf, you open the top flap, and your stuff stays more organized. Bam got you. Okay. I know we have a ton more questions coming in, you guys, and we have 20 minutes. We can do this. Be, Here, here's one be patient with me. Yeah. D Gibson that okay. we should be able to answer. Oh, I see it. The going to Hawaii, cruising out of San Pedro. That's the one. How long a drive from the port to LAX? D. It depends on the traffic. It could be 20 minutes or an hour. Um, it just really depends. San Pedro to LAX. Yeah. You need to budget a minimum of an hour, but it could be a little bit it could be a little bit less. Okay, Alex cruises out of Galveston all the time if anybody has any questions. Hooch, it's better to book with whoever you're comfortable with. If you need complete control of your cruise, you could book on your own. If you want a travel agent who's real hands-on and you can handle consultation, all aspects of the cruise, including flights and insurance, go with the travel agent. Okay, I'm going to jump in and get some more questions here. All right, um, Maddie Brown, can you pay for a spa service for your mother without her knowing before the cruise if it's being paid for through her account? Um, if your mom's card, yeah, you can. If you can get into her account, you should be, excuse me, if you can get onto her personalizer, you should be able to use your credit card to book a, uh, a spa treatment. You should be able to. Party Mafia, we're looking for recommendations for Grand Cayman too, so we're going to keep you posted on that. Um, Rad B. Ford wants to know if there's a store to purchase soft drinks, bottled water, and wine before getting on the ship in Seattle. Anybody know? I don't know. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yes, Erica, you are right, and thank you for the super chat. You're so right. Only 50,000 more. We can do this. Um... Does MSC cruise to the Med? Yes, they do cruise in Europe, all over Europe. They have a lot of offerings over there. In fact, we're very interested in um, their Northern Europe and Norwegian Fjord cruises up there. Okay, Julie, we haven't done any specific vlogs on people with disabilities. Um, there's a lot of other YouTube channels out there that you could follow that have a lot of tips for you. Cruising with Wheels is one example of that. There's many choices. Um, we're not experts on it, but definitely choosing the right cruise line is an excellent idea. From the beginning, I would recommend that. Okay, <laughs> you guys are so great. Let's see. Um... Yes, Sandra, we, we definitely have thought about that. We've got a way to go. Mama Dot said AAA is a great way to book your cruises too. They have great travel agents. Good one. You are right. I know you like your AAA travel agent. Okay, let's see. Um, Kim Spooner, the only way I could think to pack your foam pillow on a cruise, honestly, would be to use a compression bag of some sort. Sorry, you guys, I'm having some issues with my microphone. Um, uh, take a compression bag and get all of the air out of it. Thank you, Sean Topol, for the super chat. Panama Canal, Kristen, I think Holland America and Princess do a really good job, but I would also love to catch Norwegian Bliss coming back through the canal on the way to, um, on the way to Florida. That would be a really cool one, but there are just so many different choices. 
Okay, Jaden, we are going to be sailing on MSC Seaside very soon. Um, MSC contacted us with an excellent opportunity to go on MSC Seaside and showcase the ship and share it with our community, and we gladly accept it. Let's see what else is going on here with the questions. Um, Leanne has some really good some tips on Grand Cayman. Thank you very much for sharing those. Um, great tip, cruising through life with Cindy Huber. AARP will give you 10% off Carnival gift cards, no membership required. Excellent tip, Cindy. Thank you so much for that. That is awesome. And Tina said that Costco gives you money back for every trip booked, or Tina, I'm sorry about that. Let's see what else we have going. Lots and lots of excellent ones here. Um, what do we like to do? Cindy Parnell said, what do you like to do in the car on the way to port? You love to listen to old radio shows. My husband and I love to talk. We do not, in our daily lives, we don't get enough of an opportunity just to talk. So it's kind of embarrassing, but we call car rides our date nights. We'll be like going somewhere for an hour. We'll be like, oh, it's date day. And we will just talk the entire time, strategize, talk about ideas for our channel, talk about our son. We laugh, we listen to music, and we just enjoy each other's company, quite frankly. Life is just so busy for us, and we just like to be together and chat it up. Okay. Let's see here. <laughs> you guys, there's so much great stuff going on here. Do you have um, a suggestion for beach towels for Carol? Um, there's so many different beach towels out there right now, but one that we really love is um, Bandabo has a new awesome towel that covers your entire lounger. So if you're looking for an extremely long beach towel, we have a discount code through the end of this month. Go to my Instagram stories or my Facebook page and you can find the discount code there or go to our Cruise Gear YouTube channel and look at the video on Bandabo. They have really nice towels. Also, Natasha's 31 store, another video we did just last night over on our Cruise Gear channel has beautiful beach towels. I also often buy beach towels at places like TJ Maxx, Ross, and Marshalls. They have designer beach towels on, at a discount and you can still get them at this time of year, but it's getting close to the time where you're not gonna be able to get them anymore at those stores. Okay. Um, bear with me guys, checking for questions, reading all these amazing tips. So many good ones, thank you. Um, enjoying life's journey. How do you let the cruise line know your media, uh, notify the PR department? That's how you do that. You deal with it directly with the public relations department. Okay. Um, I think, let's see, Chloe, can you retype that for me? I think you said, I think you're telling me you're partially blind, but it's not typed out correctly. So why don't you type that again for me so I can check. Okay. Let's see. Okay, for Stingray City, do some research. Yes, I've heard that Moby Dick Tours is great. Has anybody ever done Stingray City with Moby Dick? Please let me know. I'd really appreciate it. Um, so many good things coming in today, you guys. I really feel like you all are giving me a little bit of information back today, and I, I sincerely apologize if I have missed any of your questions. We have a solid 12 minutes left, and I hate to tell you guys this one more time, but if I have missed your question, type it again. Julie, tips for Ruby Princess. I've heard Ruby Princess is a beautiful ship. If you have a balcony, do ultimate balcony dining, enjoy the specialty dining, and go to afternoon tea. Those are my um, tips. Isabel. Cruise to the Bahamas, lots of excursions. You're nervous about go overbooking any advice. Yeah, Isabel, don't book a full day tour. Book a short one that doesn't start first thing in the morning. So if you're tired, you don't have to spend all day. Um, Flyover Country wants tips, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, from you on keeping clothes wrinkle free. Watch Mr. Cruise Tips TV packing videos because he packs like a crazy person and he is like this method that really helps. Well, my strategy really is, I mean, I think it's kind of impossible, it is, especially with with um, dress shirts to keep them wrinkle free. Mm -hmm. But what I try to do is I fold them in such a way that they're, it's, it's creases rather than wrinkles. So they yeah. look like they've just come from a, you know, a shop. It, it, so it's yeah. all about the folding. And that is okay. in one of my videos. I, what I'm, about someone like me who wears dresses? Like how do we do it? Well, there, there are ways that you can do it. Like you can put them in little, um, what are they called? The dry cleaning things? bags? Dry cleaning yeah. bags or plastic bags of some kind because that, that mm -hmm. does help it. But if you're really serious about it, you can look to something called bundle wrapping. Mm -hmm. And I've tried it. It does it does help. It does. But it, um, it's a lot of extra work. A lot of work. Okay. But like I said, for me, I focus on the folding so yeah. I get nice creases rather than yeah. wrinkles. Okay. 
Ginger said, what size luggage works best for packing cubes if you aren't flying and size isn't an issue? Ginger, a standard, um, I'd say a medium to large size bag. So the two sizes just above a carry-on will be really, they are more optimal for packing cubes than a carry-on. Carry-ons, you have to kind of Jenga everything around a little bit. But I'm um, not talking about a super oversized bag. Oversized bags are fine for packing cubes too, as long as they don't get too heavy. But a good medium to large. I don't have any... Um, specs specifically in my mind, but yeah. Jaden, how can you book a day visit on a cruise ship to tour it? Jaden, it's not easy unless you're a travel agent. Um, so you would have to email the sales team or the travel agency team or the customer service department at the cruise line and ask if they offer that. It's not a super common thing. Um, Nina, boarding Star Princess on Tuesday, any tips? Star Princess is a very special ship. The tips that I just gave a few moments ago on Ruby would still apply. Definitely hit specialty dining. The steakhouse is wonderful. Enjoy the main dining experience. Go to afternoon tea. Star Princess is a very special ship and watch our Star Princess vlogs. We had such a good time on that ship and there's a lot of information including interviews with the officers. So enjoy that. Okay, um, here we go. I'm really trying hard to jam through some of these questions here and I think I can catch up, you guys. I think we can do this. Let's see. All right. Um, I don't know about the dry dock on Ruby, Teresa. I'm sorry about that. I'm not caught up on that. Okay, can you use, use your own iron on Princess Cruises? No, you cannot pack an iron, Linda, on a cruise. I'm very sorry that you can't do that. That's such a bummer. Okay, next question. I know we've got them coming in here. Um, Heather Kurt, you are so welcome. Thank you, Mark, for helping to answer questions. We really appreciate it. Thanks you guys for your patience as I stare at my screen for just a moment. I'm looking for questions and making sure I did not miss. Yeah, Wayne, anyone else travel by train to the cruise port? You did this in Richmond, um, from Richmond, Richmond, Virginia to Miami. Hey Wayne, how long did that take you? That is so cool. I love that. Yeah, Jennifer's right. You kind of have to Tetris the packing cubes a little bit. Sometimes the long slim cubes are really good. I haven't been on Carnival Glory, Carrie. I'm really sorry. And Caribbean Queen, I haven't been on Fascination, but we've been on Imagination and Inspiration, which are similar um, in the class of ships. So you might want to watch some of our old vlogs from that. Okay. Getting close to the bottom here. Let's see here. Um, yes, they do have steaming and pressing services, Tina, Tina, on... Um, Carnival Splendor. Absolutely. Norwegian, oh, you want tips on Norwegian, Jaden? That's such a broad question, but um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sound like a broken record today, but on Norwegian, we're crazy about the specialty restaurants. We love the um, teppanyaki, we love the steakhouse, we love the Brazilian steakhouse. They're all awesome, so I would recommend that you do that. Okay. More questions coming in. We can do this. Anybody rent scooters, Carol wants to know, during port days in Bermuda? Wow, you got a good deal, Amy. That's incredible. Yeah, Mark, trains from California to Seattle are wonderful. We'd like to do that sometime from California. It's just a time thing, you know? Let's see. No, I haven't been on Vista yet, Tina and Rick. Sorry about that. Haven't been. Um, Laurel, is Roatan a good port? I haven't been there. Yes, Shuntopple. Carnival does have afternoon tea sometimes. Thank you all so very much for all the compliments on the 50K subscribers. And yes, SoCal Seth is right. Anything with a heating element is problematic. Um, but people often mistake us, mistake that for you not being able to use curling irons and flat irons and things for your hair. So you can take those. Terry Bench, yes, we do almost always buy an internet package on a cruise. With Princess, we're platinum, so we get 250 minutes per person and we don't have to buy one, but yes, we do. Okay, bye Flyover Country. Good to see ya. Okay, let's see here. Somebody said they got a steamer on. Jessica said she got a steamer on a cruise before. I think some people do get steamers on board. That's definitely possible. Okay. Yes, we always do online check-in, Kimberly. Always, always, always. I never wait until I get to the port. I don't want to spend my time doing that. Okay. Um, Patricia Nash, all of the lines, as far as I know, are fine with you packing a mini fan. You should be okay with that mini fan. No, we haven't been BTS Prav. We haven't been to Amber Cove yet. So hopefully we will someday. All right. Is it mandatory to upload photos? I'm not sure what you mean, but I don't think so. I don't think it is. Huh? Oh, no, no photos uploaded. Uh-uh. 
Not that I know of. Does anybody know if you have to upload photos for online check-in? I don't think there's any lines that make you do that. Maybe they do. Maybe some of them want you to take your picture online so they don't have to do it at the port now. That's, I mean, it's definitely possible. Um, cold coffee uh, with MSC, it is definitely a family-oriented cruise line. I haven't known them to be necessarily all that adult geared. I think they're very family-oriented, so we'll let you know. I think we're getting ready to wrap up here, guys, so I'm looking for those few last-minute questions. Um, Laura wants to know if anybody's used Royal Caribbean's luggage valet service from the ship to the airport and wants to know if it is reliable. Um, let's see, LC Watts wants some tips for cruising Cozumel. Uh, I'm going to try Mr. Sancho's possibly on our next cruise, the Beach Club. You might want to try that. Playa Mia, I've also heard, is great for kids. Okay, getting closer here. Okay, let's see, guys. Lots of questions coming in. They're kind of flying by me at this point, but I'm going to try to do a few more. All right. Okay. Mr. Chris of TV, are you seeing any? Just Drea, any tips for Santa Barbara? Believe it or not, we have a, actually have a video on what to do in Santa Barbara, the port of Santa Barbara. Go to our videos list and click that. There's so many things to do in Santa Barbara. It is a wonderful place just to walk around. Rarely do I ever say that, but you are going to be, your tender is going to let you off right at the waterfront. The wharf area is beautiful. You could take, um, you take free electric shuttles. There's tons of electric shuttles in Santa Barbara. You can go to the Santa Barbara Zoo, which is beautiful. There's parks right by the wharf. It is really a lovely place. Yes, you could do an excursion if you wanted to, but in this case, walking around is just spectacular. It's very um, Mediterranean and very pretty. Wow. Oh my goodness sakes, who just did that? Who gave us a huge super chat? Hooch V! Thank you so wow, much. Thank you. That's oh crazy. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for that. That was extremely kind. My goodness sakes, you guys have been so incredible. Is that $50 to celebrate our 50K? Thank you. We're very touched by that. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, I don't know about the new ship in Alaska, Mimi, from Princess. I haven't heard that. Uh, Mark said they rented a stand up paddleboard in Santa Barbara right near the tender port. Okay, I want to try to grab a few more. Yes, I have seen photos, Lainey, of the gelato stations on MSC, and that's one of the things we're most excited about. Bye, John, um, is the coffee and the gelato. We are going to maximize all of the things that we've heard are excellent on that ship. So, all right. Hair dryer, Deborah said, gets the wrinkles out of the clothes. All right, I have time for one more question. I'm going to see if I can find it. What do we have going on here? Okay. Oh, uh -huh, you guys are so funny. There's a lot of energy in the chat today. Okay, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up, everybody. Thank you all so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. <laughs> April said, you can do the dolphin swim now, Mr. Chris Tips TV. No pressure. We might actually, one of the bad things about dolphin swims, guys, is you can't take cameras in the water. So Mr. Chris Tips TV may sit it out and stand on the dock and watch us if we do something like that. Again, no promises that we're going to do it, but I know that Junior, if he had his choice, he would definitely want to do that. Thank you so much, Ciara. That's really cute. <laughs> thank you for the kind comments. You guys, thank you so much for helping us get to 50,000 today. Thank you, Hooch V. We appreciate it. To those of you who have been with us for many, many years, and to those of you who have just joined today, welcome to the Cruise Tips TV family. In order to follow us live on MSC Seaside, please, please join our social media community. We are at um, Cruise Tips TV on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. There are links in the description box below. Follow us somewhere. We'll do everything we can to go live from this channel. With that said, I am not announcing our next live stream date yet because I have no idea when it's going to be, so you're just going to want to follow us. Also, super critical, you guys, that you click the notifications bell if you're subscribed. YouTube, has been changing their methodologies once again, and we're hearing that people are not seeing us in their subscription or preferred video feed. You gotta click the bell, and that's how you're gonna know we're live. Thank you so much for sharing in our excitement. We are so grateful for all of you, and until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Bye. Cruiser of the week. <laughs>